eat this tonight on an emotional <laughs> level. It's been a weird week. On Monday, I bought a gym membership, and like 10 minutes later, my bank called to ask if my credit card had been stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Felt bad. But no, I've been working out, because like, I'm working on losing weight, because like, I haven't had sex in a year and a half, and I, I get it. It's time to start selling a more premium product. But uh, I don't know, it's tough. I, I grew up fat, and like, when you grow up fat, you never learn that superpower where you just, like, have confidence. Especially in your ability to attract sexual partners. Not to be confused, though, with a lack of sexual confidence, because when you struggle with my affliction, anytime you do stumble into sex with a lady, a thing that has happened and they can't take that away from me, you fucking focus, you take it real seriously, you gather a substantial body of research, Ultimately, you learn to eat pussy like a champion. <laughs> like it becomes the core part of your identity. To be the guy who's like, I know looking at me you might not want to fuck, but uh, if you do, think you might be pleasantly surprised. I don't know. I was a nerdy kid. When I was in seventh grade, I just went on Wikipedia and read all the articles about how to fuck. And... <laughs> Like, other kids would see me and be like, oh, here's a kid who knows what's up. And they'd approach me and they'd be like, um, hey, Alan, what did girls like? And I'd say, well, a couple competing schools of thought on this. <laughs> but if you want an old mainstay, rarely steer you wrong, I would try gentle but gradually building pressure to the clitoris. <laughs> now, don't go straight there, you fucking lunatic. You start half an inch away and build your way to a crescendo. If you didn't have ten minutes, you shouldn't have started. <laughs> Like, how would you like if I just came up to you, started tapping you over and over again, on the end of the dick, as hard as I could? The answer is you'd love that shit eventually. <laughs> I suppose this is as good a time as any to announce that uh, since it's gradually becoming my whole act, I will in the future be performing as Austin's only clitoris comedian. <laughs> I'm doing all future sets in my clit costume. Which, for the record, is just a dime store costume of the Emperor from Star Wars. But I think it's appropriate, because I'll be wearing a hood, and you don't get a good look at me until the very end. 